Hello, and thank you for your interest in Washington State Community College. My name is Shai Parsons, and I am a College Pathway Advisor um, set to help incoming students start their educational journey at Washington State. Um, during this brief presentation, you'll learn a little bit more about our programs um, and the resources that we offer here to help you succeed. So let's get started. So as the name would imply, we are a community college. Um, Washington State Community College is great for students who are looking to get their technical um, certificates or degrees and go right into the workplace or use it as a stepping stone to get their general education requirements out before transferring out to a four-year institution. Um, this allows them not only to live closer to home while they're doing this, but also to save themselves quite a bit of money. We are an open enrollment institution, meaning that you can begin with us during any of our regular semesters, including fall, winter intercession, spring, or summer. Um, it also means that it's fairly easy to attend. All you need is an application um, and a high school transcript or GED. We do have some programs that are a little more selective in nature, um, which we'll talk about here in just a few minutes, that might have some additional requirements needed. Um, but for general admission, you're looking at simply an application and again, either a high school transcript or GED. So a little bit about Washington State by the numbers. Um, we've been in the area for 50 years. We're actually celebrating our 50th anniversary in 2021. So we've been offering over 40 programs since 1971. Um, that allows us to have an enrollment of typically about 2,100 students every year, but I promise you won't see all 2,100 at any one given time. That's because we offer a wide range of flexible options, including daytime, evening, online or blended courses um, where students can take maybe one day of class here on our campus and then the rest is online. Um, so again, you'll never see all 2100 at the same time. Because of the diverse options we have for delivery classes, we're able to offer pretty small class sizes. Um, on average, our class sizes are about 15 students. Um, so that allows you to get that one-on-one -on -one rapport, not only with your instructor, but with your other classmates as well, which ultimately helps you succeed in, in the class. Because we're a commuter campus and don't have residential halls, um, it means that we can keep our tuition fairly low for our students. On average, a student pays less than $5,000 a year um, to attend Washington State, which is a great cost-effective way to get either the, your right-to-work credentials or those general education classes, like I said before, out of the way before spending any extra money on a four-year institution. I would be remiss if I didn't point out that we are highly awarded at Washington State. We've been granted the number one community college in Ohio for the last four years by Wallet Hub, based on a couple different factors, such as estimated cost, um, graduation rates, investment um, returns, scholarship opportunities. So we're very proud to have that distinction. We're also highly awarded when it comes to many of our programs, specifically our health programs, which we're well known for. Um, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, our associate's degree of nursing program has ranked um, number five in the region for several years now. Um, and our LPN program or the practical nursing program actually is fifth um, in the Midwest. So, and that's just a few of the great opportunities that we have um, for award-winning programs here at Washington State. So we have, again, about 40 different programs that we offer students here at Washington State. We do sort those out into what we call career communities. Um, a lot of times students aren't really familiar with the programs enough to know what they want to do for sure, but they know what field they'd like to go into. So we've created these career communities in order to help students kind of decide a little easier. Um, we have automotive and diesel, business and IT, engineering and industrial technology, health sciences, law and public safety, welding, and of course, transfer degrees. So let's learn a little bit more about these programs. In our automotive and diesel program, we have both certificates and associates in both automotive technology and diesel. Um, students get a lot of hands-on experience in our auto labs, working with donated vehicles, such as this diesel truck from Fida Freightliner. Um, we work quite a bit with our community partners to get the most innovative and real world equipment that's out there. So students can get real world solutions for real world problems. 
The students in our auto and diesel also spend quite a bit of time in our computer lab, as most of the electrical systems and um, vehicles these days are computer-based. So they are learning up-to-date information as opposed to just simply the hands-on material as well. Our business in IT includes accounting, business management, computer support tech, cybersecurity and investigation, and medical coding or our medical um, administrative associates degree. Um, one thing I always like to point out is the business management degree can be completed completely online and you never have to come to campus. So if you're looking for a broad program um, in the business field that will allow you the opportunity to still pretty much live your life as you're currently doing, um, then business management might be a great option for you. Engineering and industrial technology is probably our second largest division. It houses certificates in chemical operator, design drafting, multi-craft, and associate's degrees in electrical engineering, industrial technology, process technology, and our new um, program to the, to the division is robotics and mechatronics, um, which we're incredibly excited about getting out there. Um, again, chemical operator and process technology can be completed completely online. To just give you an idea of some of the equipment that the um, students get to use in our engineering programs, um, which I will say is currently undergoing quite a bit of renovation. So if you're thinking about starting with us next fall, chances are you're gonna have brand new equipment and brand new labs to play with. Um, but just for right now, um, on the left-hand side, you can see a picture of our industrial lab um, along with our one of our instructors, Chris Carpenter, and a student, Haley. Um, they're standing next to one of our lathes, which is something students not only learn how to fix um, and troubleshoot, but how to use. Um, the other two pictures are some of our robotic arms. The one in the middle is a robotic arm that spans about six feet, um, donated to us by Ghana, a local community partner. Um, and students learn not only how to troubleshoot this, this pro piece of equipment, but how to fix it. Um, and then the one on the right-hand side is our smaller pro robotic arm, which students learn how to program. Um, students can get them to write on a chalkboard, can move Django blocks from one side to the other, which seem like fairly simple tasks. The fact that they can learn to program these robotic arms to do simple tasks such as that is what the workforce is currently looking for in employees. Next up is our health sciences division. Washington State has been well known for our vast array of health programs that we offer here on campus. Um, we offer both open enrollment and selective enrollment. So open enrollment means that, again, there's no additional requirements other than that general admission application in high school or GED. And that includes our health and wellness program. A lot of students start in this in order to get the prerequisites out of the way for our more selective programs. Our selective enrollment programs include massage therapy, nursing, both the practical nursing and the associate's degree, medical laboratory tech, radiologic tech, respiratory tech, and our physical therapy assistant program. Selective enrollment means that there is not only an additional application that must be submitted, but sometimes they have other requirements such as a GPA, test scores, or even prerequisite classes or observation hours. So it's incredibly important to make sure that if you're interested in one of these programs, do you learn what the requirements are prior to wanting to apply? Another thing I always like to point out is a lot of the selective programs have early deadline requirements. For example, our radiologic tech program has a deadline of January 8th for the fall before you attend. So if you're thinking of beginning in fall of 2021, you'll need to have the application in by January 8th. This might seem really early, but because of so many applicants and the selective nature of the program, they need that amount of time to make sure they're getting the best candidate. So if you're interested in any of our health programs, please check in with us fairly early to see what deadline you might need to meet. Just some equipment that our health program students typically use. Um, on the left-hand side is ice stand. I stand as a high fidelity mannequin um, that our instructors use um, to give our students some real world experience before moving on to their clinicals. So I stand is controlled by one of our instructors um, as a student goes in um, 
just like a normal hospital setup. Uh, he can seize, he can have a heart attack, he can turn blue, uh, he can even die. So it's a nice way for our students to get some real world experience without actually being in the real world. Um, on in the middle is our anti-demolish table, which is best described as a large iPad with several scans of the human body and even animals. So our biology and anatomy and physiology students are able to use this equipment in order to look at the human body or again animals from the skin system all the way down to the spinal cord um, just by dragging an arrow back. Um, so it's a great useful tool and a great complement to our cadaver lab that we have on campus. We do have a cadaver lab. It holds two human bodies at all time, a male and a female. Um, and we are able to allow our anatomy and physiology students to go in there and have some hands-on practical experience with the human body. Um, and our biology students often use the organs left over once those human remains go back to the hospital. On the right-hand side is the new microscopes that we have acquired for our MLT program. Um, MLT is a medical laboratory tech program. And I will tell you that all of their schoolwork, all the textbooks are done um, or housed on an iPad. They have an iPad that is required for the program and everything is built into the iPad, um, including the ability to use a microscope. So students are able to show their classmates what they're seeing um, by sharing pictures, zooming in, screenshotting. Um, so it's a great useful piece of equipment for our new students. We also have law and public safety here at Washington State, which includes our criminal justice technology, our POBA, or Peace Officer Basic Academy program, our social services technology, and our newest program to the 2021 academic year is chemical dependency. Chemical dependency counseling is also a selective program, so if you're interested, please reach out for more information. Welding. Welding is our last of our technical programs. Um, and you can get a certificate or an associate's degree in this program. Um, as you can tell, we do have a welding lab on campus where our students are able to go in and get hands-on experience, but we also have what's called a virtual welder. And this allows students who might not have previous welding experience to learn in a more safe um, and cost-effective manner um, by not using in any uh, precious materials um, and by obviously not having the danger of burning oneself when you're still learning. As I said before, we do have a ton of transfer degree programs um, that are designed for an easy transition from us, Washington State, to a four-year institution. Um, those include business administration, education in both early childhood, middle, and young adult, um, liberal arts, science transfer programs, such as general science or biological sciences, um, and of course, social services, should you decide you would like to go on for a four-year. Our students have transferred to colleges all across the country, but some common ones um, shown here um, are schools that we've already set up pathways for, meaning that we try to make a seamless transition from our school to theirs by setting up pathways for our students to follow. Um, for example, West Virginia University, WV Parkersburg, Ohio University, OVU, uh, Miami, Franklin, Muskingum, Ohio State, and of course, Marietta College. We've created articulation pathways with them so that students who start here can make sure that they're getting the required classes they need for those particular programs. So why choose Washington State? Obviously, we offer a vast array of programs for you to choose from, but there's also other great opportunities for you here. One thing that I always like to point out is that our entire institution is built around our student success. So your success is paramount to us. So we have designed our programs and our student services to make sure that we help students with whatever they need to do in order to succeed. For example, we have experienced instructors. Our instructors not only have advanced degrees, but they have real world experience, which is essential when it learn, comes to learning real world solutions for real world problems. They also serve as our academic advisors. So for example, you're not going to have a biological science advisor, uh, faculty member um, as your advisor if you're in the welding program. You'll meet with welding instructors in order to get your classes set up. We also offer quite a bit of hands-on experience. As you've seen from the pictures, we offer several labs for all of our different programs. 
so that students can get, again, that hands-on experience that is so important. But we also offer practicum placements, whether that be in the classroom or perhaps in a healthcare facility. We have clinical rotations for all of our health programs and internships opportunities for our other less diverse programs. So our Center for Student Success is designed specifically to help students succeed. Um, They're located in the back of the library and offer a huge vast array of support systems um, for our current and incoming students, such as makeup testing, um, career placement, transfer assistant, disability services, um, and they are a complement to our library that offers free tutoring and free printing. That's right, I said free. The library also offers Ohio Link, which is a great program that allows us to get resources, whether it be research papers or books from any other local institution in the state of Ohio. As I mentioned before, we offer some great flexible options for our working students. We understand that students have other life responsibilities um, other than school. So whether it be childcare or um, employment, we try to work around you as best as we can. And by doing so, we offer not only day, evening, um, online and blended options, but we also offer shortened periods, such as our eight week sessions, um, or even our winter intro session, which is only four weeks long. Um, a lot of students use that to knock off one or two classes, such as internet nutrition or macroeconomics. Just because we're a commuter campus doesn't mean that you can't get involved. We have a ton of student clubs and activities here on our campus, whether that be clubs such as Student Senate, our Student Ambassadors, our Gamers Club, um, or activities such as our annual Spirit Week, um, which is Bucktoberfest, always held in October. So don't think that you can't get involved. If you're interested in joining any clubs or associations, please do so. Research has shown that the more you're engaged, the more likely you are to succeed. The enrollment process is easy at Washington State Community College. As an open enrollment institution, your first step is to apply. Apply for admission is easy. You can do so online at wscc.edu. If you're on our website now, you can look at the top right hand corner and there's a blue button that says apply. Just click on that. It'll take you roughly five minutes to apply. After applying for admission, you'll want to send us an official transcript from your high school and or any colleges that you previously attended. You can send high school transcripts to the admissions office by either email at admissions at wscc.edu or having them mailed. Please remember though, these transcripts should always come directly from the high school. College transcripts will need to be sent to our records office and nine times out of 10, they'll want to have them mailed. If you need our address, please just contact us. Don't forget to fill out your FAFSA. FAFSA is how we find out how much financial aid you're eligible for. So if you're interested in receiving financial aid, make sure to go to FAFSA.gov and fill out your 2021 or 2122 FAFSA today. And don't forget to check out our scholarship options here at Washington State. We have what's called a one and done scholarship application. You can fill out one application and it applies you to all of our institutional and foundational scholarships. So make sure that you check out the scholarship page on our website. Once you've applied and sent in your transcripts, we'll actually help you take it from there. We'll reach out to you based on your application to set up an admissions appointment where an admissions counselor or career pathway advisor such as myself will assist you in your next step in the enrollment process. Make sure to keep up with us on social media. Washington State's on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and Twitter, um, where we like to update either current happenings, upcoming events, or just great things about our students and faculty. So make sure to check it out. If you have any questions about the enrollment process or programs, or have questions for admissions, financial aid, the business office, or records, you can contact the new student one stop which is our new gateway for all incoming students and our centralized student support hub for our current students. You can contact them by admissions at wscc.edu or by calling 740-568-1900. Thanks so much for watching and we really appreciate your interest in Washington State. Don't hesitate to reach out and we look forward to seeing you in a coming semester.